Whoa, 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 not so fast. Hold on for a sec. Welcome. In the previous video I talked about how German acetate does not smell and I recommended you two screwdriver sets to buy. And this is one of it. But before we start I have to get this out of my system. In the bin! Ah, uh, so much better. To my surprise, all these green Heiko screwdriver sets that show up these days seem to be new old stock. And regarding the sticker, I got me the 1452 7 parts C screwdriver set. Let us appreciate all this old box with many nicely drawn tools on it. I really dig it. And all there is between us and the contents is this little strip of scotch tape. Let me cut right through it. The main reason for me to get the set was to check out this insulated screwdriver. The first thing I noticed at this moment was the made in West Germany writing on it and this beautiful emerald color. Let me grab the Viha screwdriver of that era really quick and compare them. It is not really an uh, apples to apples comparison, but they feel so similar in terms of weight, material and quality. This is their Philips 1, all made out of chromium vanadium steel. And the Philips 2 has a smidge on it as it arrived upside down, so I guess the screen print rubbed off over time in storage and shipping. We also get standard screwdrivers or flatheads in 5.5mm, 6.5mm, And last but not least, 8mm. The bigger the screwdriver gets, the more I appreciate its neat matte chrome finish. It only lacks a laser engraving on the shank to totally appear like a modern day Stahlwille screwdriver. Beauty. In my box of spares, I remember I have a Witte Quadro screwdriver that is very similar in style. Similar indeed, but not quite the same. And now, it's time for a close-up. Here are the Philips 1 and 2 again and the Philips 3 from Witte as the mentioned comparison. It lacks the nice blue tips and is way shinier than these nice matte shanks from Heiko. And here I lay an equally sized handle on the Witte Quadro so you can see their similarities and differences. Here are the flatheads again in 5.5, 6.5 and 8 mm. And finally, the thing that really interests me in this set, their insulated screwdriver. Man, I like those acetate insulated screwdrivers. They look beautiful, come in nice colors and are see-through. They fit well in my hand and are smooth to the touch. They just fit me. And here is the shown Viha for comparison.
and I also found this well-used Belzer one. And looking at this Belzer, one big question occurs. On any regular screwdriver you find stamps like these. In this case VDE and GS approvals with its rating of 1000 volt. VIHA has at least the 1000 volt rating on it, but Heiko has left the screwdriver blank. I'm sure it is fine, but without any markings or rating on it, I can trust and thus use it. <sighs> I hope you enjoyed this quick look at a NOS Heiko screwdriver set. I like them better than I thought when I was ordering them. They are well made and high quality. I just wouldn't trust tools without any ratings on them. And again, how neat are these drawings? How did you like the comparisons to these screwdrivers? Write your opinion down in the comments. And that wraps it up for today.